What is up YouTube? This is PCCSC in here. Guess what? Today I'm doing a new Zippo unboxing. And this is an incredibly exciting Zippo for a few reasons that you will see in a little bit. Before I go ahead and jump into this video, I would like to go ahead and say that this is my 100th Zippo video on my channel. At least according to the Zippo playlist that I have on my channel. So, yeah, this is number 100. That is incredible. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. This actually, this right here came from Zippo themselves. I ordered this direct from Zippo's website. I don't normally do that, but in this case, I kind of had to, and you'll see why in a little bit. So let's go ahead and cut this open, not cut myself. And also note that I have right here another Zippo that I will show you guys in a little bit. Here we go. There's the box, no frills about the box. However, when you look at the back of it, there you go. <laughs> You'll see we have a numbering system. I have number 65 of 300, which is awesome. So what could this be? Ready? See if any of you recognize this. Let me close my knife so I don't kill myself. Ooh, look at that wow that is bright okay i'm looking at it on camera and i'm looking at it in person this is bright and there have been a few issues with this particular run where people have been getting mismatched boxes and mine is actually okay i do in fact have number 65 of 300. y'all check that out this is beautiful it's very shiny this is a first of its kind Zippo. Look at the contrast between that sticker and that finish. That is cool. It's very shiny. This is actually kind of similar, very similar in fact, to the Zippo Lemon finish, okay? There is a finish called the Lemon. If you saw it, you might think it's a, a yellow matte Zippo, but it's actually high glossed on it. So that's awesome. Very, very cool indeed. I think they actually are calling this neon green matte, but it's it's not. It's it's very shiny. We got Zippo lighter. We've got a Zippo flint. That's a pack of Zippo flints right there. There's their logo. Got a bunch of Zippos up here. It's very crazy. Just a bunch of little patterns and designs. There's the numbering. Again, more patterns and designs. And of course, a Zippo right there that is lit. And it's crazy. Check that out. This was made in February. Wow. This was made exactly a year ago. February of last year. Yeah, that's weird to say. February of 2014. That is, that, I didn't see that coming. I thought this is, <laughs> wow. So let's go ahead and let's actually peel the sticker off. Yeah, I know, I'm peeling the sticker off. I didn't peel the sticker off of this one. And in fact, the sticker's still on there. I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna leave the sticker on this one because it's, it's I, don't, I don't really know why I would take it off now. But I wanna take this, the one off of this one just because that, that neon finish is crazy. So check it out. And you have in here a regular, uh, a regular back insert, but I'm actually being a little bit paranoid about this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick I don't really want to scratch like the back of the zip. Oh. <laughs> I say that as the corner hits the table. Um, so I'm actually going to put it behind the uh, guarantee, which looks different. The guarantee is different. Look at that. Hold up, we'll check that out here in a little bit. The guarantee looks way different. Um, so let me put this behind here. Wow, that's crazy. This is a significantly different uh, guarantee. Whoa. Oh, the phone. They changed it. They really changed it. There's no more pretty ads on it. What? Wow. That's crazy. Okay, so we have a, uh, a very significant uh, paperwork redesign. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that the insert in there must be a 2015 insert. This must be like a new for 2015. Guarantee. All right, let's check this out. Boom. That's awesome. Actually, one of the reasons why I want to take the sticker off of this one is because I saw a picture that it looked like it had a brass sensor, but it must have been the way the light was reflecting in the photo. It's actually just a regular boring insert. Let's see when this was made. But when this one was made, it's 
It's got to be 2015. No, it's F14. Weird. I do have a Zippo that has a 2015 insert. I want to. I might grab that and we'll see if it has the same guarantee because that's crazy. Hmm. Again, very, very beautiful design. Very busy. You can see that. That is awesome. That, man, as soon as I saw this, I just knew I was going to purchase it. And it was actually really cheap. This is, um... I think it was 20, well, it's on the invoice. It was 2795 MSRP, all right? And unfortunately, if you want to buy one for yourself, they've been sold out. Yeah, they sold out basically, I think, the day after they released it, which is really insane because of how low the price is. So if you want to make sure that you can get a hold of a, of a future Facebook exclusive Zippo, make sure that you like their Facebook page because they do these every, they try to do them every, uh, I think, like at the beginning and end of each year, so, or is it every quarter? I don't remember. They try to do like two of these a year, so make sure you check them out, all right? They were they were only able to do one last year, something what, what came up. I don't really remember what it was, but something came up and they, were, they had to push it to the start of this year, so check it out though. That is awesome. Very, very pleased with this Zippo indeed. And I'm quite happy to see that my box is matching. And actually, I'm really impressed by the way that Zippo is handling the uh, mismatched boxes. They're actually gonna send out some prepaid mailers to the people who have mismatched boxes, and you can send your Zippo back to get uh, a matching box, which is really cool. They don't need to do that. That's awesome, I love it. It's just, oh, you can't. Most companies that I know of will be like, oh, whatever, it's, it's fine. Just. Get over it. Um, so Zippo has definitely gone the extra mile with that. I feel that's just crazy. Let me see a little close up of the design here. Yeah, sixty five of three hundred. That is hot. That is really hot. And again, here's the uh, the one that I got last time. I know you've probably been wanting to see it. Those of you who don't know what they look like, you can see. Yeah, I've had the sticker on that for past like year now there it is this one is actually right in the middle 125 of 250 that was crazy you can see it's a vet veterans day special i've gone to war so buy war stamps instead so yeah that was what this one is so there is my facebook exclusive collection uh the ones that have already come out i don't i actually only have half of the collection i'm not really going to go out of my way to obtain the other two that i haven't purchased um you know because it's just not what I, I, just, I just don't want to do that so yeah, but this, these are what I have right now and they're really cool. I recently told somebody that I would do a Candy Apple Red Zippo update in this video because it's been a little while since I've shown it. For those of you who don't know, I'm just kind of seeing how Candy Apple Red Zippo will hold to being EDC'd regularly. So yeah, we're currently on February 17th. Now I haven't been carrying this thing completely, uh, you know, every single day. There was a phase where I didn't really carry this thing around with me at all. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you that as you can see, we do have some scratches going on. Uh, the scratches are really consistent, consistent though. And it's basically, it just kind of looks like it's been used for a bit. Uh, this thing does get in contact with coins. It gets in contact with my keys. It comes in contact with wallets. My wallet's actually a plastic wallet. And I sometimes carry around a metal business card holder in here. So this thing, and that's why I treat all my EDCs of those. So. I'm not really treating this thing any differently from any of my other EDCs, so as you can see, it's holding up incredibly, incredibly well, better than I would have expected for this amount of time. I think I will be uh, ending this little project probably in April because I have to, you know, it kind of stopped carrying this for a bit, so stay tuned for that, and um, yeah, but there's your quick uh, Candy Apple Red Zippo update. Alrighty guys, so that is going to do it for this video, and yeah, I went ahead and changed venues because it's actually later at night now. Now I was going to be introducing my 2,000 subscriber giveaway in this video, but I need to work out a few more details before I go ahead and do that. That's why I'm not going to introduce it now. I will be uploading a separate video on that incredibly soon, don't worry, it'll probably be by the end of this week, I'll, I'll shoot for by the end of this week. So long as I don't have a lot of work to do and a lot of school work and all that stuff, uh, I will definitely shoot for, if not by the end of this week, then early next week, I will get a video up on that. So yeah, anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and sign off here and check out that Zippo. You can actually see uh, the vibrance in this particular lighting a lot better. It, um, 
yeah, the, it's, it definitely looks a lot more like what it actually looks like in this lighting, so very cool. Very cool indeed. So guys, 65 of 300, I'm pretty happy with that. It's early, uh, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and adios.